man. I love moth. Light the moth, man. That should be his <laughs> yeah. next name. Light the moth, man. Good lord. Can't wait to see this. Cause I'm a ready to see this matchup. B ready to go home. And B ready to see Disco Boy make some more highlight reel. Ready to go home. Like this is really. There's only 14 people here. It's a short tournament. Not a lot, <laughs> bro. I know. I am. I'm always tripping though. Uh, okay, starting again on Smashville. The the Corin. Oh, that mileage. Get the follow up up air off of the pin. Ooh, that's something weird. Like you gotta be careful with pin if you're too close to like the edge of the platform and it's moving away. Like you can like miss pin like you did there. It's, like, really yeah, weird. and it's like it's gotta be. Yeah, uh, it makes like a weird interaction with the stage too. Platform. Yeah. That's one thing that's like you can do as uh, as Corrin that Light was doing. You can Z drop and immediately do an aerial. Like you know, like usually when you just have a you know item, you, you if we do an aerial, it just throws banana. So you can like just Z drop and immediately do an aerial, and it just recatches it. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, super technical. But you don't really see a lot of people do that on the like intermediate level, but like when you get to that advanced level and like understanding the mechanics on a deeper. That item play really come into effect. Mike really knows how to play counter to Diddy Kong. Yeah. He plays against people like Daffo, people like Lightning Cam, like GGEA sponsored people who have who are very proficient with their Diddy Kongs. Yeah. Who is GGA? I've been hearing a lot about them. Like, what are they like an organization? They are. Like, They're are they... an organization based in uh, Plano, Texas. Get good. Get good. It's Academy. Oh, okay. They're, it's basically a dojo where people will go to train and stuff and like learn and like build off each other and share knowledge about the games that they play and stuff. They have a lot of teams. They have a lot of people that play for Smash, Street Fighter, um, League of Legends, or Overwatch. And I play all those games. Yeah. I need to check it out. Yeah, definitely. They're, they have they an have open facility. Oh, yeah, and also corrected by us. It is not a sponsor. Oh, it's not a sponsor. It's no. not a sponsor. It, it is, is, yeah, just an academy. It's more, yeah, academy. it's an academy, so people so, kind of wear the tag as like a clan or something like that. So. Yeah, just like promote their thing. Yeah. You know. But I think they have a system where it's like if you go under the GGEA tag, you kind of get like weird bonuses. Oh, you get perks? Yeah. Okay, get, that's cool. Yeah, you get perks if you win tournaments and stuff, and they give you like, like shirts and everything and stuff like that too. And they'll even okay. like. Free stuff, bro. Yeah, they'll even get to the point where they're if you do well enough, they'll they'll sponsor uh, you as a player too. Ah, so. uh, uh, man, that sucks. Like, <laughs> I knew he was trying to mix up the down air and like he's gonna lay on stage, but because like he was so he was like hugging Disco, like it pushed him off a little bit whenever he actually hit shield and he just yeah. fell off. He's like, oh, I'm dead. Like he even had jump there, but like even if he jumps up, he's not gonna make it because he's so far down. The next thing Only Ooh, a smash. Battlefield. Yeah, definitely want the solid, sturdy platforms. Get those escape options that he wants so badly. I wonder what he was going with there, like like running around shield and then just full hop up there. I wonder what that was for. Like maybe like a bait out of jump and then pin or something. I just realized platforms definitely move you up really fast horizontally or vertical vertically for corn. Just yeah. when you start pinning. Because it sticks you like that, right there. Right, yeah, if you're like a little bit below the platform and you go for pin, you'll just end up like above the platform. Yeah, and, and do it. like really fast, like that. Yeah, it's like really handy to do. Absolutely. A lot of options. Like the lantern, definitely. Options for corn as possible. And good wait there to catch the roll, but there's such a small window to even catch Diddy's roll. But like, he just missed it. Oh, he's gonna keep going. Oh my god, see how, how far he's gonna get it. Oh man, but he doesn't cast the roll again. Dude, he's got a good roll. Okay. Yeah, he's been avoiding cheese. every single pin. Yeah. Try not to get caught by light. Yeah, one good retreating option you can do is corn. It's like that, that fade away, full jump, turn around uh, pin. Like, just try to get a tipper. Like, the tipper does a lot. I think it's like 18 if you get it. Very like powerful. Crazy. Yeah, it has a ridiculous knockback. Oh, couldn't get the grab. Uh, oh, he barely the avoids the charge shot with the monkey flip. That's what's called charge shot? Well, it's called, um, 
Well, charge out the dragon fang. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. I actually didn't know that. Oh! Yeah, you're not careful. You don't have more than one jump. Yeah, he did jump banana, and then, like, for some reason thought he... Oh, man. He thought he had, like, a second jump. Light Blair taking the lead. Oh, don't stay on there too long. Oh, yeah. he grabbed. He... What was really smart, he did full jump, and then right before he got off the ledge, he, he pressed Z to, like, grab it. Okay. Whenever you're, like, touching an item, you just press Z and you'll just literally just catch it. Okay. Uh, good awareness from Disco Bunny. Just throwing out Uppy, knowing he's probably gonna, like, go for a projectile, so, like, he could possibly get hit by the barrels and put him in this position. Exactly you where know. Disco Bunny wants him to be. Either I'm, I'm away from him as far as possible, or in an unfavorable ledge situation. Finally gets that up smash and takes Light Lantern's first stock. Here yeah, that was a good game. risk. Like, he he, didn't, he just hit shield with it. He didn't even hit him at all. And he just, like, went for the up smash to see if he either posts or he dropped shield. And he, he's been, he just dropped shield. He's got his rhythm, so finally got that stock. Absolutely. This is where Disco really, I mean, not Disco, but, like, Diddy in, in general just starts to shine. It's that low percents. Already 53. Only like a seven minute, bringing seven this difference. all the way back. Yeah. Oh, good spot dots there. A good great pivot, pivot grab. grab. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice till like the other day, but whenever you pivot grab, you actually have more length. Like it has like it a does. more grab range. It crazy. does. Yeah, it gives you such a good grab range. But it's harder to uh, harder to pull off in terms of execution and stuff. Yeah, you get out a roll or like have some shielding for yeah, really shielding too long or like sometimes like when you can like oh, oh my god, god. his jump but or like the monkey flip whatever it is that was crazy that back was really really scary but it has like a like a, a slow startup like if you just land it like, it's pretty good yeah yeah good stuff catch. to light the lantern taking game two one Gonna... to one. Now this one, I'm pretty sure either Town and City or All right, here we go. Town and City. There we go. This is random, but I just noticed that Cheeks didn't even enter in the tournament. I think he's just like hanging out with uh, with Monta. Oh, he did. He did, but he got he DQ'd. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. Gotcha. Free. Finally gets the grab. Already has light at 60%. Man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so. One thing that's like really scary against light is uh, whenever you you gotta be careful counter picking. You gotta think about you have to counter pick not only against corn but also zero suit. And basically he has like all of them covered. Yeah. And, like oh we're going to platforms. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna go corn. No platforms, but we have like like a low ceiling and like moving like stationary platforms. We're gonna go zero suit. Yeah. You know? Like really scary to have. Beginning oh. scoop. And he missed both of those. He was like just pixels a little way, like a little. He was just a little too high on both of them. Gucci has a really high, big jump. Oh, wow, that, he actually deleted that banana. All right, he's dead. It's the, it's the forward smash off of the banana again, though. Right. Let's go, buddy. Going up one stock again. Ooh, that was tricky. No. Sometimes when you're sliding off the platform, they have some kind of momentum, and you lay on the edge, and you're still sliding. It cancels. You just, you just reset. Like really cool. But whenever you're like aware of those kind of things, it's a good way to like catch your opponent off guard and like get like a cool little follow up or something like that. Absolutely. What? What? Oh. He was so close to them when he grabbed that the laser went behind him. Oh my god! He really skid three times in front. Like, oh my god! He went through him three times, dancing around his shield. That's crazy. And it's having no fear right now. Like that kind of stuff. That's just data. That is, yeah. Wow. Like, this is, like, information for later, which is, like, really good. We are learning a lot in this set right now. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah, my yeah. gosh! I mean, he didn't get hit, but, like, he had no way to get back up, you know? He's dead! He can't tether because he's too low. Yeah, Sorry I wasn't is, speaking yeah, that whole just, time. He's, like, bouncing fish. Not bouncing fish. What's the the down beat where, like, you, like, bounce and stuff and it does a kick, you know? It's like a... I want to call it boost kick, but that's not what it's called. I don't think that's what it's called. It is boost kick? Okay, it is. Oh, yeah, okay, it's boost kick. Okay, good stuff. Down I'm learning a lot about kick. these moves. I, 
like I know the like the like certain like most moves. But, like with the Pokemon, it's really easy to remember because it's literally just like like I played all the Pokemon like I like all. Oh yeah, because you see them. Yeah. Obvious. Like like when it down B for Charizard, the rock smash. He's smashing a rock. Obvious. Like Flare Blitz, always taking recoil. That's obviously Flare Blitz, you know. Is he dead? Oh, he took a lot of percent for that though. That's yeah, from one grab. Like that's the thing, scary thing. Like there's high risk, high reward. If you get a grab, like you know, you get a lot of percent. But if you don't, that happens. But uh, yeah. Disco flubbing with the down tilt is not getting a follow up. Only get taking twenty percent for that with grab. Ooh, that's back one on thing. the stage and gets the monkey flip. Yeah, that's one thing. Like you gotta watch out for. It's like they're just staying at like low distance and they're charging a laser. They're trying to catch. The neutral get up. The neutral like, get up. Okay. Yeah, because it'll catch you. That or either jump from ledge. It covers two things. And then whenever you like jump on stage or anything like that, they can just react to it, and, like just down smash you or something to get a follow up. Ooh, good reaction oh. there. You cannot be okay. doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you just like randomly hit. Oh man, a banana. He. I don't know if he did get up immediate or like he he like. Wait, did he miss? Oh my oh, God. No, trying to get still get on stage. He's definitely looking for that setup too with the Angel Cortez, but Light the Lantern is so knowledgeable with that in this matchup. Yeah, like you can't be, he, he knows that you can't just stay on the, the ledge for very long. Yeah, so he's gonna time, try to you know? recover as fast as possible. And right. definitely uh, Zero Suit's tether grab really helps out making him get back on the stage way quicker than most other characters. And Zero Suit, like, she has like, Four ways to recover. She has a wall jump. Yeah. She's got the boost kick, Heather, and then she has up B. Like, what the? Like, literally, you think, like, she Mayo literally has good. like an option for every every yeah. recovery situation. And just like that, Light the Lantern going up one game more. That's yeah, another thing. Like, she has really explosive and like rage and like makes it worse. And you get like stuff like that where you get like like one grab or like one landing up air at like mid percents or like even low percents, and like you get you know like up air, up air, up B, and killing it like re like really like early stocks. Like, holy crap. Tying it up two to two. Last game. Maybe. Unless Disco Buddy gets the reset. Unless and then we Disco, got another yeah. set. I'm yeah. trying to see another set, to be honest. I'm down to see so. another set as well, too. But I wanna see I wanna see if Disco Bunny can take another has he taken a red line yet? No, he hasn't. He always gets uh blocked by cheeks. Okay. And actually la last week he didn't just lose the cheeks, he also lost to uh Kosoku in losers. Oh really? Like Mario, which okay. is crazy. He he said like like just about he was like, Yeah, I deserve the loss. So he wasn't playing patient. He was like, Yeah, I actually chased the balance up because like in Sonic, that matchup, you just wanna like make Mario just struggle because he's not that fast, you know, it's really hard for him to get a hit. Yeah. But the moment you get in at Sonic, you know, and you get hit, like Mario can just do a bunch of damage. Yeah, true. So, yeah, he just wasn't respecting him enough and he got punished for it. Game five of Grand Finals. If Light Blender can close this out, and he's looking to do that. Oh, with that's that, scary! Oh, with that boost kick. Yeah, this was like, I'm out of here. Early up B, last sleds, rolling back. Oh. Oh, Monkey Flip, the remix special. Yeah, you saw he was trying to cancel, like, edge cancel off the stage, probably get, like, a follow-up fair or something. But, like, he just, he wasn't close enough to get it. But good wait there on the get-up attack. He's been doing that a lot. So he's just waiting for the shield, wait for an option, reacts, gets a percent. Oh, that rollback, that was scary. He was just late reacting to the grab after that. Oh, 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 oh my god! That's one of those things, like, the moment you, like, do the move, it's like, oh, I already know I messed up. Please, like, please Yo. live. Oh, that attack. Nope. That oh, was man. too clean. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Is he dead? Wow, 64%. That was a great combo coming out from Light. And he's still man, going. He's still going on this. Oh! Wow, the he banana, almost got the, the yeah. Yeah, the, the balloon, man. He's way too focused on the balloon. He could have got that uppy right Whoa. there. He off stage. The combo, but he's got to reset the situation. Get that banana again. Okay. There we go. Okay, there Damn we go. Stock. Finally got go. some damage. It's, look, it's looking much better. You got to stock off. Probably some, get some momentum from Disco right eight, here. Man. Nice. That's one thing that's like really weird. Like once uh, the, the boost kick, whenever like that's off your shield, it's kind of hard to follow up. Yeah. Like they, they can like weave back and forth, you know? Yeah. It's so weird. Definitely, definitely a hard thing to deal with. Oh, he popped. He popped out! Like yeah, he the, was ready. The DI was ready. I didn't know that was you just DI out of it. That's crazy. Uh, you can you can DI the first hit of it, but you oh, have to react to it! Oh my gosh! Just so you come out cannot light. react to that forward air. Light the yeah. Lantern taking Grand Finals. Yeah. The red Lantern. line 90. Yeah. That was a really, that that was was a really set. fun set, yeah. Mm -hmm. so